Hey guys, just a quick tutorial to uh, show you how to uh, how to make a uh, film using After Effects. Uh, first, you have to create a composition. Uh, I'm making uh, a Brazil flag, which is an animated film I used. I've uh, got all the images in the um, in the desktop. First, I want to uh, change the uh, ratio, so you unlock it and uh, you change the width and the height. Uh, for this. I'm going to choose keep it the square. Make sure the frame rate uh, matches the one which you uh, did before. Uh, I changed my uh, my options to 25 frames a second, so that's the one I'm going to use, and that should be okay. There's my composition. Uh, first, I'm going to import file, and then in the desktop, I should have my um my uh, frame frames just click the first one make sure the IFF sequence is on and uh, all footage files access yeah and open uh, I'm gonna ignore the alpha because uh, when the straight comes in it always takes out my background so uh, I'm gonna make sure it ignores it so I have my background then I'll just simply drag it into the uh, composition um, if you click here at the bottom, just press uh, space, it starts playing. It's uh, slow at first because it's still rendering it in After Effects, but it speeds up if you uh, play it again. See, it's only going like four seconds. Some people on some keyboards you have to press a zero, but um, for me on a Mac, I have to press the uh, space bar. And the film is looking a okay. It's looking okay. Perfect. Next, I'm going to click on the uh, Brazil, the composition, and make a film. Uh, I want it to save it in the desktop, and I'm going to save as Brazil flag and just save as a quick time. And then you get some settings at the bottom. Uh, first, you go into the render settings. Um, make sure it's the best possible. Make sure the frame rates are normal as well. 25. And that looks okay. Uh, the output module, uh, lossless is normally quite good. The files come quite big. Um, so I'm going to save mine as well, format QuickTime. I'm going to format the options to make sure they're the best possible options. And that's fine. It is quick time. I, I, that's not normally the options I uh, come up with. Unfortunately, I normally do this on Windows. So it's the first time I'm doing it on a Mac. But um, I think it's my video codec. Yeah. I'm going to change that to H264. Press OK. And that should be all right. Um, then the output that's I've already set up, uh, and then you just click render, and then you wait for it to render, which could take a while. I might skip this bit, and now we're back, and it's pretty much rendered now. Um, just coming to the end, you'll hear a little uh, ding when it's rendered, and there you go, it's fully rendered. And it should be on your desktop fully now. Very easy, uh, easily done. Uh, there it is. Just open up. I'm going to open up with a. Uh... Sorry, the computer is going a little bit slow here, but um, it is going to open. Excuse me, guys. This computer is just awful. Just awful. Oh, there you go. It just pops up when it wants. I'm going to open it with a VLC because I hate QuickTime. So, uh, VLC. It's going to open in QuickTime. I've clicked on QuickTime already and watch it. It will open both of them because the computer's just being really slow. Mm. But yeah, basically, once it's opened, uh, you get to see your film and uh, it should run fine. Yes, it has opened QuickTime. Okay, well that's pretty much it, guys. I think it will, sh it should run fine when it decides to load. <laughs> Awful, awful.
you like my background? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. There you go. There you go. And VLC opens at the same time. Perfect. And it's still playing a little bit slow. Don't know what that is. Let's go on the uh, try it back again. And there it is my Brazil flag. Just how I wanted it. Thank you for watching. And I hope this helps.